just got back at, at me. Every morning I stuff, without him knowing, I stuff his shoes with tissues inside. When he puts his shoes on, he can't understand what's going on. Can't get his shoe in. So he finally got back, tricked me with uh, some food. That was a good one, buddy. We're in a uh, little bit past Reno. There must be a train shaking the building and uh, we're ready to go. But it's actually, it's actually really good. It's actually really good because uh, it's gonna be hot. Through. You just wait, dude. <laughs> trust, trust me, dude. Your day is coming. <laughs> trust me. Uh, trust me. Uh, your, your, your day is coming. See that? 451. Good morning. Hey, what's up? 451. Up for an early, early start. Gonna hit Nevada Desert. Very hot here. Wake up early. Chew up as many miles as we can. Bonneville Salt Flats. That's the exact destination on the GPS. I, I wait for someone to save. Roads are completely clear at this time. It's nice and chilly. Get some miles in, run some miles in with this kind of temperature. No traffic, weather is perfect, the sky is amazing. Let me sing the sunrise later in an hour. Contemplate for a while. Stopped after 60 miles for a short, a quick refuel. Go to the toilet and refuel. on the road for like two, three hours. And we started really early, five o'clock we hit the road. You just, and there was nobody on the road. You just crush the miles. And it's so good because there's nobody on the road. Weather is great. Open roads and it's, it's easy. It's easy riding. And now we're gonna eat breakfast at a fine establishment. I'm not gonna show you. Not my first choice, but it's, it's gonna do. I'll show you after. <laughs> I'm the limiting factor pre uh, pretty much when uh, refueling. I think I have four and a half gallons. It's averaging about 190 miles for a tank. I'm the one always indicating to John, pull over, we need, a, we need to refuel. Well, sometimes you gotta deal with what you have, right? Yeah, Mac yeah work with what you have. McDonald's, they don't sponsor me yet. <laughs> <laughs> a bagel, a bagel, some kind of artificial uh, omelet McDonald's and bacon. Get on board. On the road, you can't be picky, right? Just got back at, at me. Every morning, I stuff without him knowing. I stuff his shoes with tissues inside. When he puts his shoes on, he can't understand what's going on. Can't get his shoe in. So he finally got back, tricked me with uh, some food that I was supposed to be getting. That was a good one, buddy. Now the sun is out. It's starting to hit us hard. Once we hit the road, the breeze will cool us down. What's good is that we got, we covered 180 miles and I feel fresh, fresh as baby wipes just coming out of the little packaging. Well, that was refreshing.
of salt. So there's a checkpoint over here where you buy tickets and the road pretty much ends over here. Right here, no more road. And then a flat surface of salt only. I don't think we're taking our bikes onto the salt. I don't want to ruin the bike. But like this, we're going in. We're gonna ruin our bikes. <laughs> Now we'll wash our bikes once we're out of here. Go to a car wash and wash the bikes. We're gonna have to wash our bikes big time. We're at the Bonneville Salt Flats, Fuseball. So Sandy, we're going on? We're going on. Drive and drive fast. Everybody's coming to the ride. Morning our bikes or not? We're unpacking salt. If I even, when I'm even trying to stand, my shoes are slipping. There's salt flying up from the fort. You see it? Huh? On the way, we were trying to figure out, are we going to go on the salt? Will we not go on the salt? Because, you know, salt is bad for your bike, right? And once we got here, we said, yeah, <laughs> let's just go in. You pay, you pay $25 to get in. It's packed. The salt, the salt itself is packed salt. It's like as tough as concrete, but it still does shoot up some, you know, some salts here. Take a look at just riding here, riding and you see all that salt all over. So obviously once we get out of here, once we can get out of here, we're gonna go find a car wash and wash our bikes, especially all in the bearings area, you know, all the places where the salt would like to collect. It is extremely hot over here. Not only the sun is out, but the reflection from the salt brings up all that heat. So alongside the track, uh, quite a long distance track. They start at one point, then there's a metering station where they check the speed. And people spend here quite a few days, sometimes even just uh, parking and uh, camping out. Trying to, they come with their hot rods, trying to break uh, their own records. Yes! Yeah! The sound of life. Yeah, I have 91. Yes! How much is a full tank? I don't know. Probably four and a half. Oh my god, look, look at this hell bouncing off! Oh, look at 
Thank you, thank you, John. John said, don't worry, as long as the bike is dry, the salt doesn't, doesn't activate. All you need for to activate the salt is H2O. Yeah, so now we've got the recipe, H2O. Yeah, look at that. Let me show you, let me show you the exhaust. Okay. So, yeah, definitely need to wash, wash the bike. It's gonna be the first wash in two weeks. A bike deserves a wash. Oh my God, look at this filter. I'm actually okay with getting wet because this uh, rain cloud is gonna fly right by and we're gonna be with the clear sky again at hot, uh, very hot temperatures. And then we're gonna ride again and that's gonna cool me down again like the natural air, air conditioning, like the natural AC that I said already before. Yours too. Is it? Yeah. Yours is worse, absolutely. Oh, because you got a shorter fender. The fender is chopped up. Oh, mine is bad. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber. This probably just came off my fender from the water. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching anything. Never seen the, bi uh, the bike dirtier than this. Trust me, I never wash my bike. And the storm is over. Actually, I see a storm over there, right in front of us. It's rainfall. Anyway, we're continuing to Salt Lake City. We got a hotel. Exactly where it's. <laughs> well, we're stuck under. We're stuck under the under the pass. Back to Wyoming. We're back washing the bikes. Calm down. Told you we'll get it. You need to calm down. So there you go. Like new, just with 10,000 miles. No salt, no dirt, no schmutz. It's ready for another 5,000 miles. Our bikes are dry. Remember we told you how Danny, Danny uh, is so, cares about his bike so much. The dude is detailing his bike, literally now with ceramic, with ceramic. Ceramic coating. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it, right? <laughs> We're gonna be waiting over there, Danny, when you're done. We're done? We're done. We're all done 10 minutes ago. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> He's detailing with the ceramic coating. I kid you not. <laughs> now let's go eat something. <laughs> 